All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the start of our Pokemon Congo Randomized Nuzlocke. Hope you guys are having yourselves a great day today. If you missed the last episode, basically we made our way here to Orberg, cleared out the mine, talked to Rourke. Now it's time to take on the first gym of the Sinnoh region. So hope you guys are excited for that. If you are, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. You guys, the support on this series has been amazing. Thank you guys so much. If we get another 500 likes on today's episode, that'd be amazing. Just brilliant. Just remember, leaving a like, it really does help support the video a lot more than you think. It helps the video a lot in the algorithm. And honestly, it just lets me know you guys are enjoying this series. So thank you all so much for that. But let's start this episode off with a quick and painless Team recap. Let's get this going. Of course, we got the lucky egg on our uh, girl, actually, Momo. Or it's a girl, but it's named after Momo, but it's a mail in game, I guess. Alright, whatever. Water absorbed. Then we got tail whip, tackle, water gun, and sand attack. Blaze is here, the marrow with return, roll out, tail whip, and bubble. Then we got Salmonella, the torch here with powder snow, growl, mock punch, and ice shard. We got Sia, the Roselia. This is such a cool looking Pokemon. Astonish, growth, ember, and willow wisp. Then we got Muppet the Banette here with Knockoff, Screech, Nightshade, and Curse. We got Dad the Marowak here with Growl, Tail Whip, Bone Club, and Headbutt. And that's what the squad is looking like. I thought we had another for some reason, but that is all six. All right, before we get into everything, first I just want to say Code Super, 30% off G Fuel. If you guys want to save big on G Fuel, now is a great time to go ahead and do that. Check the link in the description, go to the website, and yeah, you can just cash out with Code Supra and get, or check out with Code Supra, get 30% off your entire order, which is dope. And another thing, before we hop into this gym, just remember guys, we're starting a new live stream series on Monday, our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Master Mode. It's gonna be super fun. And uh, yeah, we're starting on Monday at 4 p.m. EST. Do not miss the stream. There's more info in the community tab, but you can, like, you can also see the stream right now if you want to like it's obviously not gonna be up it doesn't start till Monday but still see it if you want to go check it out but yeah do not miss that it's gonna be an awesome live series and let's just go ahead and run in here I did some grinding like I just got everyone that's new up to level 10 so like I didn't do that much grinding but I still leveled some people up just because I thought why not let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon they got in the gym Honestly, I'm down to take on like as many trainers as possible right now because I just want to see all the textures I really just want to see what kind of textures they got in this game how common they are um, So that's why yeah, let's just try and take on all the trainers in the gym. There's only like two so it really shouldn't matter that much um, One thing I do I do have a question. All right, and this is more so just like a series in retrospect kind of thing, but basically I just need some opinions here. Have you clicked on this series and been like, what is Pokemon Congo and not understood that this is Pokemon Platinum? You know what I mean? Like, may, I'm just like thinking to myself, maybe it'd have been better if I titled the series Pokemon Platinum and then just like specify that it's Pokemon Congo every episode. But also I have Pokemon Congo on the layout so like people would know. I don't know, I'm just wondering if I should maybe change the title of the series at all. I'm just thinking, boys. I'm just thinking. But let's get this Raikou out of here. Jeez, man. I love that sprite. They they did some... Because a lot of like the older sprites, especially in the Gen 3 games, like the Gen 2 Pokemon and Gen 1 Pokemon in Gen 3 games just don't look the best. You know what I mean? Like when they poured it over, like for example, Pidgey in like Pokemon Emerald, it just looks so weird. And most of those early on Kanto Pokemon just look really weird in Hoenn games. But they like got it on lock in this. They poured a Gen, uh, Gen 2 sprite so perfectly into this. Like I, Entei sprite looks sick too. I think I remember what Suicune looks like, but... Shout out to Raikou, look at that. That is clean. Just get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Alright. Get out of here. That could be the thumbnail though. Hey Raikou, you could have just made the thumbnail. Who knows? Who knows? We got a Mr. Mime coming out. Uh... Honestly, I should be fine, but I just want to go to Bleezus. Let's go for Return. It's so good! It seriously is so good. And thank God, Vaporeon also learned Water Gun off screen. Oh my God, it was a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a good day to be Vaporeon. It really is. I had no idea we were going to get it at all. I thought if we got a water move, it would probably just be like Bubble. And, you know, it's like base 20 power. Not the best, but thank God, we got Water Gun. I know I could have just checked the level up moveset, but that takes the fun away from it, all right? That takes the element of surprise away from it. And that's, that's something we want. I want the element of surprise. But I think we're ready. Let's just go ahead and take on the first gym leader of the Sinnoh region, Rourke. 
I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared. I know his ace is gonna be like 14, 15, 16. I'm not sure if we're playing with a level boost or not yet. We're about to find out. This is the Orber and Pokemon Gym. I'm Rourke, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As the gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Now, if we find out, is there a level boost or not? Because I know his Cranidos is supposed to be like 14, right? It's supposed to be 14, maybe not in Platinum. Oh! It's like a spider web, right? This is gonna be a bug type, right? And it's supposed to be a spider web. That's a really cool concept. Yeah, that's super cool. I never really thought about that. Yeah, I guess it does kind of look like a spider web. I really want to see what Gliscor is now. I bet Gliscor is sick if that's what Gligar looks like. Come on, one more. One more, buddy. Is Tropius. All right, let me get out of here. Oh, I got the perfect answer. I got the perfect answer. You see, early on like this, you normally don't have ice type moves. Like, it's pretty hard to get access to the ice type early on in this game at least. Now we got ice shard. Cause like what Pokemon early on aren't even ice type or get access to ice type moves? I have no idea. Like the only ones in this game I can think of are like swine up. And that's pretty late. Like, there's the whole uh, Snow Point City. I almost said Snow Bell. That's X and Y. Snow Point City. But that's so far late in the game. Unless you're playing Renegade Platinum and they just put that, like, in the middle. Oh, my God. Renegade Platinum, I will never be able to forgive that game. That game is a nightmare. It is... <laughs> if you're looking for something hard, then get. By all means, go play Renegade Platinum. But also, we just got to level 16. Rourke still has a Cranidos. Huh. What should I go for? I don't know what type this is. It reminds me a lot of the Cranidos and the Rampardos that we had in Omega Ruby. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it had like a galaxy like um, color scheme. I'm gonna go to Momo here. Cause I know at least Momo can just eat up everything. Vaporeon is such a tanky Pokemon. Sweet. We just killed it. I'm just wondering if we're gonna get the Combuscan evolution, which by the way, which by the way, did you guys see, I saw this on Twitter the other day. Did you guys see that they changed Combuscan shiny spray in um, Crown of Tundra? Which is crazy. Th just think about that. Now, if you don't know what Combuscan shine used to look like, it was practically the same thing. You know how there's some shinies that are just super lame? For example, like Gengar used to be just like very, very slight color change. There's Garchomp. There's so many other Pokemon, but those are just like the most notable. But the fact that they changed Combuskin Shiny, it's now got like some maroon and red accents, but the fact that they changed that means they're down to change Shinies, which we could get. I think, you know, I might be wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. They may have changed Gengar's. I might have just got like clickbaited from the thumbnail, but they may have changed Gengar's to all white, which is what the Megas is, but... Let's just see what this torching evolves into. I was just trying to say, like, Combuskin has a new shiny, which is super dope, and that means that they're probably down to actually make new shinies for the other lame ones, like Garchomp and Gengar. But let's see, Combuskin, that's the only part of the evolution line we haven't seen. And look at that, Salmonella. That looks awesome. It looks like about what I expected, obviously. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge. Since you beat me, the gym leader here is the official Pokemon League Cole badge. Let's go. Easy dubs. So that's the first gym down. Seven more to go. Only seven. <laughs> Only seven more to go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But we're making good progress. We are making good progress on this game. I cannot, cannot complain. We also have caught, like, every single one of our encounters, which is just unheard of for me. And I just I just want to give myself a pat on the back. All right. I just need to gas myself up for that. Are you kidding? Caught every single encounter? When does that ever happen? When does that ever happen? Let's scoop five of these so we can keep it up. Let's scoop two of those and then I think we're good. I think we're good. Maybe some repels. Why not? We gotta make our way back to Jubilife and then to Floraroma Town. I think we can get like maybe one or two encounters today. 
Turner City is the next place with the badge. Uh, oh, you give away gym badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207, but you can't get there without a bicycle. Made my team battle and toughened them up, so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City next stop to get turned to gym badge 10 seconds before I dash. Nine. Wow, who's got time to count? Me. All right. I can count. I can count, buddy. I'll stay here all day. All day we can wait. All right, but let's make our way back. And I think we have to do that little, uh, what is it? It's a uh, thing with Team Plasma, right? We got to fight with Dawn now. It's about to go down. That's actually what happens. I remember I did this fight once and they had like, they both had like an RCS or something. I can't remember. If that happens again, I'm walking out of here. Anyway, there appears to be no one shady in, uh, left in Jubilee. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere. Oh, wait, what? He said there's no one shady here, so I guess we're fine. What? He is the worst, the worst police officer. You gotta just look right up here. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Oh boy. Ah, uh, Supra, well, how is the Pokedex progressing? That's an Orbrick gym badge. And hadn't I give you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. A oh, professor of Pokemon, must it be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this work is for us. What we're saying is, we demand you to comply with our demands. We demand you to comply with our demands. It's a lot of demanding. <laughs> Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. Don't loiter about for no good reason. Don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Three, if you don't want to get in the way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Uh, don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. Damn, there's a lot of things. <laughs> what are those outlandish outfits you have? And they was roasting their fits. He says drip or drown. Y'all are drowning. You had to make this personal. You have forced our hand into making a sh uh, show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civ uh, civility, please. Super, let's battle together. All right, let's battle. I don't know why this had to get so serious. It went south very quick, but all right. All right, buddies, we got a war turtle and a gulpin. Gulpin. Oh, so there's Trico. We finally get to see Trico. What type is it? Uh. It looks fighting. I guess it's fighting. All right, we got two of them that are fighting, which is a little odd, but that's what it looked like to me. It's got like the little metal bracelets. It could be like a ninja, so. That's not bad at all. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another water gun. Honestly, get this gulping out of here. I don't really care. I could sw It's gone. I should just not even talk the rest of the episode because I just keep getting cut off by like, I'll say something and then I get cut off by the opposite happening. It's like, all right, whatever. Why'd I even try? You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do so, uh, we shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Benevolent? All right. That lot, they called themselves Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Super, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Well, maybe that's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to you two, nothing came in that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Super, kudos to you for all, okay, this is a lot of text. I get it, man. We saved the day. We save the day, and this dude comes in, he gives you the fashion case. Cool, it's always good to be in fashion. <laughs> it's always good to be updated on the highest fashion. So let's do this, let's make our way. We cannot get one right away, because I took this encounter already, I think. Yeah, yeah, I still, I took out this. But in the cave, we can't get an encounter, and then I think after the cave, if not, there's the route right before, like, um, what was it, the Valley Windworks or something like that. We'll be all right. I think I'm gonna at least get two, like I said, so. Oh yeah, man, I'll take two free encounters any day of the week. I will take that any day. Maybe I should swap someone else, though. We don't really need to get Momo that leveled up. Especially because it's got the lucky egg, too. <laughs> Momo's gonna end up like level 50 at the end of this. So here we go, the Ravaged Path. I guess there's also a TM over there if we wanna get that. I could. We'll see. Hold on, what did Rorik give us? Oh, I guess they're not randomized. I I, I could have guessed that though, because he gave us return. Manectric, that's solid. That is not a bad encounter. All right, I'm gonna swap though. I know it's only level three, but still. Let's just swap and we can chuck a Pokeball. That is not bad. That's a solid electric type Pokemon. 
It's not like the best thing in the world, obviously. I don't know if it gets that many good moves, but... I will definitely take this. Do I have any status? Will-O-Wisp will do. If you guys don't know, burn actually does in uh, increase your chances of catching a Pokemon. Same with poison. It's obviously just a little bit more risky, but... I kind of think that we can catch it before it goes down to zero. Please don't say I'm wrong. Oh my god, I look so dumb. Don't make me look dumb! Can we please just catch it? One. Two. Alright, there we go. Maybe that was three. But got the next trick. That was getting close. I was actually getting scared, man. What do we name this? Uh... I don't know. We can name it, um... Static Shock. Rar. Let's name it Pup. Let's name it Pup. That's all I got for now. That is the extent of my... Actually, we do have to teach Rock Smash. Damn. Alright, Dad. Sorry. I know I hate teaching HMs. I really hate teaching HMs, but we have to. Alright? What am I supposed to do? Let me get this, too. I think that's normally Rock Tomb? What? Yo, we could have gotten that. It's got Shadow Tag. Okay. It's got Teleport. I was scared we were gonna get, like, Destiny Bond or something. Right? Like, that- that was tripping me out, man! I was scared! Alright. Route 204, I think this is the same route as the previous one. Let me just double check. Let me just double check. Route 204. Yes, it is. Alright. Nope, you cannot grab another encounter right here. That is cheating. That is cheating. No cheating. Nick, do the line! Nick, it's a ho-ho! Is that a ho-ho? Is that? It is. It definitely is. Quick claw. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, how much are we doing? Nothing. That did nothing. I'm going for rollout. Let's see how much this does. Whirlwind. All right, well, I'm just gonna go for Nightshade. That is how you deal with a Ho-Oh, I guess. And that is how you deal with a Ho-Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I guess, I didn't even realize, if we're fighting like level nines, level tens, I can use this as a chance to like train Muppet, uh, Dad, and Sia, so that's fine. All right, we're back. Sorry, I did talk to me for a second. All good. Power Lens. Wait, that's for EV training, right? That's for EV training. Okay. I don't think I'm ever gonna be doing that, but if you ever need EV train. Also, I need to go take that dude out. I just wanna take all the trainers on, man. I gotta see all the custom textures. I already said that once. Staying true. I'm staying true. All right, bubble and water gun. There you go. Get out of here. How do you even say this? Illumise, Illumise, and also, me and Nick talked about this, right? So, Volbeat. Volbeat and Illumise. All right, let's have a conversation about these Pokemon. Think about it. Volbeat, we all know what Volbeat is, right? Volbeat is a lightning bug. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, right? What the hell is this, though? Like, what is Illumise, or Illumise, whatever the hell, how do you even say it? <laughs> What is the Pokemon supposed to be? It's a bug, obviously. It's not a lightning bug. What is it supposed to be? I would I would love to know. I'm very curious. Makukita? Just stay in. Also, what level does please this evolve? Cause I, I'm definitely trying to do this evolution. <laughs> I had no idea it was that level. I thought it was late 20s. I thought it was late 20s. Literally, I, I, what level does Bleezus evolve? We got Bleezus! We got Bleezus fully intact now. Let's go, baby. Huge power. It's basically got 48 right now in attack. That is solid, dude. That is solid. Let's freaking go. Oh, I guess they are randomized. I'm really confused about the TMs. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very confused. But whatever all right we made it to flora roma town thank god like i said we can get a few encounters this episode one of them is right here in the windworks we just gotta go all the way 
talked to homegirl. My pop and I lived at the Valley Windworks. But then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out to make my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. All right, well, I got you. I got you, but first I gotta get this encounter, all right? This is a little more important, sorry. Oh my God. That is not the best thing in the world. That is not the best thing. Um, I'll take it though. I will catch it, of course. We go for a return. We just get it a little down. I feel like this is hard to catch. It's gotta be hard to catch. Never mind. What do I name it though? The Compass Pokemon. What do I name this? Um. Frobo Pass. The Compass. Um. I have no idea, dude. It is the funniest Pokemon I've ever seen. Probo Pat. I'm gonna name it um, Roxanne. All right, let's name it Roxanne. Just cause Roxanne's got a nose pass. Works for me. All right, we got, I mean, I can try and edit the team after this episode. I don't really know if we should. Everyone here is kind of solid, so whatever. Let's take this dude on real quick. A Steelix, damn. Let me bubble beam you. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Well, let's see what else we missed out on, though. A Tangela. That's fine. We haven't seen, like, any legendary Pokemon at all. There has been, like, a legendary Pokemon shortage, it seems. Where are they? Probo Pass. There's just Probo Pass here. All right, well. <laughs> What if they replaced? Yo, we should do a randomizer where we just replace every single Pokemon with Probo Pass. Every single Pokemon is Probo Pass. And it's not like Badoo version. It's not like Pokemon Badoo version where everyone just looks like Badoo, but they're still their own Pokemon. No. Literally everyone is just Probo Pass. All same base stats, same moves, same level up. It'd be gnarly, man. It'd be gnarly. We have to do that. <laughs> I could only imagine. I could only imagine, bro. I Trust me, we do not need to do that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will pass. Mm -hmm. All right, Shiftry. Um, I'm going to Salmonella. We are so over- I mean, like, we really aren't. Because all I did was grind up for the gym, and half the team, like, isn't even ready for the gym. But we, like, we seem so over level. Why are they not high enough level? We are just killing everything. I will take it, I'm not complaining. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. Let's go back to the Valley Windworks. All right. It's a work key, it must be for the Valley Windworks. It's no use to me. You may have it, you may have it. Sure, man, thanks. I like to cut, G. They sure were weird, though. They saw, oh, I saw they were dressed. What were they saying? Didn't make a whole lot of sense either. Oh, I need to thank you, this sweet, sweet honey. Go on, take a whole lot. Lather it on the bark. All right. All those guys sound like pirates to me. Like, I, I feel like he'd be a pirate. I don't know why, especially Team Galactic. All right, but we need to heal up real quick. I feel like I should probably buy a few great balls too. Just cause we've only got regular Pokeballs. We've only got regular Pokeballs. Oh my God, we can't even buy them. All right, I'll just get five, whatever. But I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode anyways right there Hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you go ahead and drop a like your support is greatly appreciated 500 likes on this episode would be greatly greatly appreciated appreciado uh, But yeah, we took on Rourke today beat the first gym super dope next episode We're gonna be taking on the rest of the valley windworks there and then making our way to Eternal City So yeah, hopefully you guys will catch us for that and I'll see y'all next time deuces